Hey guys, and welcome back to Friend Bo. Uh, unfortunately, I've kind of been, uh, you know, not playing <laughs> a lot of stuff lately. Um, that's mainly because I've been stuck into other games and I've not been recording a lot. I've got back into WoW again and. Uh, a lot of stuff's been happening, internet problems and personal stuff I've been dealing with, so I do apologize, but um, I will try and get back into this shit again, so uh, you guys will actually have something to watch. So unfortunately, because of my situation at the minute, I'm only able to do like two uploads a week. I'm going to try and get two done this weekend. So I'll just pray for that. The internet kind of takes like 200 minutes, 200 to 300 minutes to upload something now. So, yeah, I gotta be careful. So, yeah, let's just let's just start off with Rambo. Right, shall we just we'll get back into the shit? It's been bad, man. It's hazy. It's hazy. Hey now, on the. Yes, man. Up time, Goska. I'm a time on Friar. Goska, tia, Welcome, creature. My name is the Adi Uspik Human. Oh my goodness, yes, finally words I understand. My good friend Rai told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. No, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Iptem monokai ecto ectobro ectoproto. I just grew a piece of fucking fruit. I wish I had that ability when I was hungry. Let me see. You are good. No doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet. Bitch. <laughs> I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean? Except for one. You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, Fran. Ah, uh, bitch sent me here. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's t too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is... My name... I can't remember his voice. My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Oh, I have a question. Are you the king? Oh, you are hilarious! Yes, I am the king! Of course I am, you fucking idiot! The king of Isthesta! Oh, what an honor, your highness! By the way, I like your leaves, they are very pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The sea told me your story, you don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir, but the most important is my aunt, she will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time and I want some place where I feel- I see you are very brave! I'm going to cut you off now! I just want to go home. Please help- There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home and it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Well, thank you so much and- Where is this 
sir. We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk on the- Look, sir, I'm interrupting you now, too. See how that feels? Ah, oh, that'd be great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back now because you're such an arrogant little shit. Maybe the great wizard can do that. I don't know why I'm doing this. You're going to have to bear with it. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. How? How will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Because that'll solve everything. I just spat it out. <coughs> Ew. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one food for myself. We don't need the fruit, Mr. Bendite. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything is your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Well, it, it depends on the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately! Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Alright then, I'm being carried away by a dung beetle. Not the most fun I've had in a while, but it's something. They just dumped me on the floor. <laughs> the hell was that? Oh look, it's a never running story thing. Good day, my name is Palantris, and I'm your doctor today. At your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing! What a beautiful, fluffy thing! Excuse me? Oh, I I'm sorry, it's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human? I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Oh, it's so fluffy. It's like a giant fluffy tadpole. Pink goop. Ah, I'm drowning now. Thanks for that. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish you could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Balochus created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Who is the great Balochus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago he was at war with the darkness and one day he fell. He fell so badly his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Ithirsta and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Well, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. Oh, how is that you are here? What brought you to Ithirsta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then I fell. The big monster that follows me, follows me did this. He broke the bridge, he wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that we become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life, so you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but Palatris, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing. I see well. When you traveled with us, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. 
but let's concentrate your arms and legs, alright? Mm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give friend her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you you would fix it. This water is magical and it can fix anything. Anything? Do you, do you think it could fix my mummy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had and you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern, but he was an evil old man. An old man? But he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Oh, I'm like a little wooden me. <laughs> this is such a long, talkative chapter. Here we are again. It shows I, the king, what a nice illustrious you become. Thank you, Doctor. You have been my kitty someday. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. There's too many men, so I just decided to make it a woman. Shut up. You fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? Ah, I preferred an old man. Don't take your kitty. Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How <laughs> pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great Thurston is you've become. Thank you, kind sir. The doctor's incredible. He made magic with the water. But she, I'm going to say she, because fuck it. But she was sad. She told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry, but that dress will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. We said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back, and he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? Land is full of things I don't understand. Oh, you haven't even gone outside this castle, and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain Cultrum, but we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magical preparation potion. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to pick the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys. And where is the mountain, you said? We'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Thursday day and good luck finding the great wizard. Oh, I love Lanthers. Bye, fuck hard. <laughs> wow, did you see that fluffy cute creature kitty? That's for Lanthers. She fixed me. Yes, it's... Yes, it's... Ugh. <coughs> yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. The fuck did I use his name as? Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're the other side of the lake next to your clothes. Oh, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, mountain culture. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. Yes, I think I spoke like this. I think that was how I spoke. I can't remember. Okay, so... The throne of the king. I wonder if it's comfortable. I wonder why kings are always sitting. Maybe that's the only truth to be a king. You must be seated. So... Okay, I like how I've got a weird hand now. Okay, so we're just gonna like look around and uh, see what we can get. Oh, these flowers are huge. I wonder if they taste good. Mmm, just like mine. Alright, now. Oh, hello! No, no! You can't go in. It's closed. Sorry, I just want to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, why don't you talk to tree? I, I talked to Spilantris. Yes, that's me. Palantras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of the Thursday, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Huh? Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in the summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious. That's why everything looks so different here, in it? Th I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. So we need to go back in the winter? Okay. <sighs> That's a long time to wait. Gotta leave. Hmm. The flag is waving very hard. 
Hello to you. Oh. Hmm. What's this thing? I can't read. Oh wow, I don't understand. It's the tree symbol, but I wonder what it says. I can always ask. Yes, we can. Hello. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain coach room is? Yes. Oh, you're one of those types, are you? Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. The mountain coach room is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. What? Go? Ha uh, ha uh? Ah, sorry, but I'm not good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things. I think he tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. Okay. They say go down there and turn right. Can I go that way? Oh, oh! Well, these are symbols and colours, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Uh, I guess the time works differently here. And you well, no shit. Oh, a basket. It's empty. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good. Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I was smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Mm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? Mm, they're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons for the customers of the bar, you know. And we put some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. Fly? Well, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall and very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Interesting. Um, okay. Oh, wow. I wonder what this is. It looks like something. <laughs> it must say something important. Oh, well, these are the good creatures. What is happening? And then the cat's like, what the fuck? Oh, wow. What are you doing? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material, we are below us. Oh, you're very shiny, you make me feel so happy, so very happy. The creature, one of the young folks will receive the shield. I'm back, my pilgrim, I'm back out here. Yay! Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Now we're gonna fuck off. Goodbye. Huh? Where, where are you going? We continue our path through life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir? Uh, or miss? Can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I, I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the lights, we are everything. What answers are you looking for? I, I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster haunting me? The truth will come to those who seek your path towards truth is in us. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Uh... But... Yeah, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, a huge Volacus. It's not real, though. I wonder what they use it for. It has four arms. Oh. Uh. A ding. Uh huh. Ah, oh, okay. Ah! So it has something at some point. 
that I'm gonna need. Uh, uh it's kind of clunky. Mm -hmm. There's nothing here but trees and flowers. What about up here? This mountain top is very high because it's the top. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. I guess it would be very loud and like an earthquake. Okay. Wait, can I talk to it? What the hell was that? Oh, it was a cat. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Ugh. Ugh. Meh. Hello? Oh, I would like to borrow that boat. Uh, uh, can't go over there, I don't think. We need to go down now. Down! Down into the depths. This way. Oh! Cool. Hi. Hello. Ah, who's there? Who? Come me, friend. Can't you see me? Oh, now I see a little you. You have four eyes. Wow! Four eyes? I don't have... What are you selling? Well, the very best phobias of the entire land. Do you want to smell it? Sure, they look like coconuts. Ugh. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It is very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Yeah, I have to get going. Good luck with the plopers. Bye. Hi. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pluto. I'm Pluto, and I'm building mold into this piece of iron. Well, for what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clock master. Oh, I see. So do you all kinds of metallic stuff? Sure, if you have some ideas, we could talk about them and padam, I'll do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Indeed, I do. Good threatening. Good thread and cloth to make stuff. And buttons. Good thread and cloth. Uh, okay, that person's carrying a ladybird. Greetings, are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. But of curiosity, miss. For what purpose do you use fabric? Everybody's naked. Well, whatever you need it for, we also have thread for making other things. I see. I have to go, miss. Have a nice day. Goodbye. That was very rude of you, Fran. Oh. Baby Bruce, you're gonna eat. You're gonna get eaten. Huge oranges, give me a headache. Hmm, fresh and juicy pineapple. The ladybug is really beautiful melons. They look juicy. Ladybird. Hello, miss. I think you're very beautiful. You have very you're beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? How can you tell it's a girl? <laughs> Mission to go. Oh, I'm on a mission to go back home, and I want and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so from what part of Ithursta are you? Are you from outside the island? No, I'm not from Ithursta at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human? That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, Miss. I certainly will. See you. I'll talk to him in a second. Oh, to carry the everything. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Day, would you like to read the newspaper? No, I can't read it. Uh, what is Ithursa's language called? Don't you know? It's called Ithernish. Are you a tourist? He? Yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Ithursa. I hope you have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. God, you're so rude, Fran. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the Great Wizard? No, miss, I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Take talk. Hmm, do you know where the Mountain Coachroom is? The Mountain Coachroom only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The King said that the Wizard would be in Mountain Coachroom. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is infinity. Layered reality. Oh, a layered reality. That sounds great. What should I do, then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? 
Uh, well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Bye. Then it's not gonna fucking work. Let's not talk to everyone. Hello, little group. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute, too. Hmm? I'm Fran, and you? Oh, me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zama. I want to sing all day. <laughs> What's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. Ahem. <clears throat> One and one and two and two and three and two and three or five and three and five or eight and don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school as fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Mm, delicious fruits and vegetables. Hi. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? This game is about to begin. You are the, Ka you are the Kamalas, I am the Valkos. Black and white as shadows and light. Is this some sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure you against me. I'll give you a coin if you win it. Eh? What do you say? Yes, sure. What are the rules? First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Tic tac toe. Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school. Tic tac toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold, and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Oh, shit. Well, this is fucking horrible. <sighs> I was always told to take the middle. Oh no! Ah. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> I'm so shit at it. Oh, I didn't see that either. I'm so bad at this. Oh my god, how did I miss this? How did I miss that? Oh my god. I don't know what to do here. Mm. Fuck this game. Just let me leave. <laughs> Fuck this game. Better luck next time, dear. I'm pretty good at this. Yeah, you fucking right, you piece of shit. I'm just shit. I'm just genuinely shit. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. 
I, uh, and could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Some of these boats don't work with the Thurston nice. Oh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. I, I, I for making your boat. I think I'm going to have to leave it here for now, guys, because this episode has been full of chit 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 chat chat. Um, actually, let's first look at this clock again. Get up there, damn it. It's a very old clock. Where are the numbers? Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, it looks like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but how does it work? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can ask for help. Who am I fucking supposed to ask for help? It's a very old clock. Where are the numbers? Right, go back to the clockmaker, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Bitch, help me. <laughs> no work. Sir, I have a little problem. Oh yes, I don't have any. The big clock on the tree, it's broken. I can't make it work, please help me. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me, please fix it for me, I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing, otherwise my life goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big gold coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. I don't have any coins. Then no clock will ever be fixed. Please, sir, as a favour, I need to go home. Can't help you there, bring me a gold coin or nothing will be fixed. Let's see, thank you, I'll see if I can get some gold coin for you. Sir? Hmm. Uh, how do I get a gold coin? That's what I should have asked. I don't have anything to give you. I charge one big gold coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. I don't have any coins. But how can I get a golden coin? Look, there is a snail that lives to that loves to give away gold. Talk to him. Oh, that is great, thank you, sir. That means I've got to do this fucking shit. I'm not doing this on camera. <laughs> Anyway, that's a bit for now, guys. I'll try and get the gold coin next time. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.